Hi, everybody. Welcome into the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com, and we're going to be talking about Saturday's League's Cup match between Charlotte FC and the Philadelphia Union from Chester Subaru Park. Kickoff is after 8 p.m. The Philadelphia Union is slight favorite at plus 110 to win in regulation. A draw pays out plus 250, and Charlotte to grab an upset is plus 220. We'll talk about the spreads here in a second, but uh, just to reiterate, this is a League's Cup match, uh, and the home field advantage is uh, a little murky at the moment because some Philadelphia Union fans have said that they're going to boycott or sell their tickets or give them away, so we'll see if, uh, if there are empty seats or if, in fact, Philly will have a full home field advantage for this match. Some fans are boycotting due to the MLS backing out of the U.S. Open Cup. Uh, presumably in favor of playing this one against Liga MX squads. And uh, it was a very successful League's Cup for the MLS last season. Three of the four semifinalists actually came from the MLS, with just Guadalajara representing Liga MX despite all their teams participating. And the Philadelphia Union beat Guadalajara to claim third place. Uh, and the winner was Inter Miami with Lionel Messi scoring 10 goals. So it really brought the MLS some glory. But uh, with the MLS stepping away from the U.S. Open Cup, which has been in place for years, a lot of longtime MLS soccer fans have uh, decided to really voice their displeasure with that decision by boycotting this event. So, again, we'll see what happens here. The Philadelphia Union are plus 105, laying a half a goal spread-wise. If you want to take the half a goal with Charlotte, that's going to be juiced out at minus 150. If you want to lay a quarter goal, which means that you would only lose half your investment in the event of a draw, uh, that's minus 125 in favor of the Philly Union and uh, get you a little plus money for Charlotte at plus a quarter goal, which again, if they draw, you win half your investment. Uh, the total is at two and a half, two and three quarters. Two and three quarters is conventional on the over under tip, uh, but over pays minus it, it costs you minus 150 on the over two and a half which means if you get three goals you'll get your full investment on that uh coming back to you under two and a half goals is plus 105 a little plus money there philly comes in six ten and nine for 27 points on the mls season that is 11th in the eastern conference while charlotte is sixth at 10 8 and 7 both teams have a plus three goal differential Charlotte scoring 30 and allowing just 27, while Philly scoring a very impressive 45, but giving up 42. And their head coach, Jim Curtin, has been around for a decade. He's looking to make a push once the MLS season reopens uh, to make at least a wild card in the East. And Philly, very talented team. I think they'll be able to do that. They're just two, one, and six over their last nine matches but they have won consecutive games. They beat the New England Revolution, one of the worst teams in MLS, 5-1, to one, and a very impressive win over Nashville, 3-0. Hungarian Daniel Gazdeg had a hat trick in that match, uh, while Israel's Ty Baribo had a hat trick before that. So a lot of guys in form. Baribo uh, had struggled on the season, so it was good to see him get going. The Union also made news with Kevin Sullivan, uh, a 14-year-old, breaking Freddie Adu's record as the youngest MLS debutante. Uh, his older brother, Quinn Sullivan, also plays on the squad. Uh, the top three goal-scoring options uh, as far as props go for Philly are Gazdag at plus 160, Barillo at plus 160, and uh, Mikael Ure from Denmark is at plus 190. Sullivan, the older version, Quinn, is at plus 230, uh, yeah, 260, actually, at DraftKings while Philadelphia's uh, Patrick Ajemang is the goal-scoring option that's favored for Charlotte at plus 230, plus 650 to go first or last. And uh, I think we'll see goals here, but Philadelphia does have Jamaican international Andre Blake back from Copa America. Uh, these teams have met twice before. They played to a scoreless draw on May 25th, and Charlotte actually beat Philly with a pair of goals from Ajemang uh, on June 22nd. So revenge factor favors Philly. If they get that fan support, which makes a big deal, believe it or not, uh, in, in soccer matches throughout the world, including MLS, then I think the Union are in good shape 
to claim this result. And it's an important one because these two teams have been lumped in with Cruz Azul, who has gotten off to a great start in Liga MX and is going to be a formidable opponent. So if uh, there's a, t a draw here, then both teams will have to go seek out a result against Cruz Azul. If uh, there's a actual winner here, they're in great shape to qualify for the knockout stages of this League's Cup. Uh, Charlotte, their head coach is Dean Smith, which is very amusing to me, uh, but he's been at Aston Villa, Norwich, Leicester City. They've got back Polish international striker Karol Swiderski after a stint in Hellas Verona. So getting their striker back, a very big deal for Charlotte. Uh, they uh, last won against East leading FC Cincinnati uh, by a three to one count, which snapped a two game skid because they lost to uh, inner Miami squad that leads MLS, uh, despite the fact that that inner Miami team did not have Lionel Messi and uh, Luis Suarez due to their participation in Copa America. They also closed June out with a loss to the Houston Dynamo. So it seems that Charlotte has gotten back on track. They come off a 1-1 draw against the Columbus Crew, despite a goal from Cucho Hernandez. So the Charlotte FC squad looking better. They do have a, a couple of absences in this match. Liel Abada uh, from Israel is playing with that Olympic team. And they also are, uh, are down uh, Berchimas, who is playing for the United States in the under-20 CONCACAF championships. So in this match, I think we might get to three goals, but I'm not going to risk it. I am just going to back the Philadelphia Union on the three-way money line at plus 110 because that's a better option than laying the half goal, which is essentially the same thing. You're backing them to win at plus 105. Always look to make the most money back for your investment. Smash that like button for me and make sure you subscribe to all of our videos here at Wager Talk TV. You can follow me at Sports Memo at sm.buzz slash TDM to check out all of my pick packages throughout every sport. I'm number one in soccer for the season for the past 30 days, past seven days, off to a great start in the Olympics as well. Three and one for both men and women through their first set of matches. So be sure to uh, check me out. Check me out on Twitter as well at Mejia De Niro, spelling down there below. And again, be sure to be subscribed to Wager Talk TV so you never miss a play in any sport. You get free advice and you can digest that and invest in it any way you like. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend. On Saturday night, we're riding the Philadelphia Union. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching.